To create a custom job, start a new project by selecting the template API Onboarding Custom Job. The template has everything set, but look at the version and the path of the output folder. Build the project to validate the proper registration of the new job. Start the job process application and review the name and the job types window. It helps to avoid unnecessary investigations if you know that the extension successfully registered before you change the name to a new one. A job name should reflect its primary purpose and might also include your company's name. Rebuild the project and review the name and the job types window of the job processor again. Our new job is ready for execution, but how can we submit this job to the queue? The usual way of doing this is adding the job name to a lifecycle transition. I prefer using a lifecycle for API testing. In this test lifecycle, each transition can take the job for activation. We continue applying the API test lifecycle to a file and change the state to put this file into the job queue. Now let's establish debugging as the last step before coding the job score functionality. To capture all events, we attach two processes, the connectivity job processor delegate host and the job processor application itself. A job is waiting and the processor is paused. As we resume, the breakpoint is hit and we step through. 